need to sort my life out because my bed, my routine's a bit messed up at the mo. I've done a little bit of work this morning with my breakfast, but right now I'm gonna go get the coffee machine I want. I found it in Norwich, so I'm gonna go buy it. And I've arranged for my other one to be returned because I got it from Curry's and I bought it online. They have to come pick it up. So someone comes, picks it up, and then once they've got it at their depot and they scan it, you get your refund. But I'm gonna go get my new one because I'm impatient. Coffee machine is now bought. I got it from Hughes, which is an electrical shop. It was actually the cheapest I found online ever because I wrote in the model. Couldn't believe it. So I just popped in and grabbed it. I'm now gonna quickly swing into Asda to grab. Well, I suppose there's Ooh. always going to grab some capsules. I'm back. I have my coffee machine and I have some coffee stuff to go inside of it. Right, I got this, which is the Nespresso Creaster by Sage. And Sage is Heston Blumenthal tiles, teals, um, appliances. Not gonna lie, it was pretty pricey. We've wanted a coffee machine for a while. So we're prepared. Um, I read loads of reviews on it, loads of unboxings, and it's really, really something special. And it looks really good too. Um, some coffee machines that you can get, like a lot of coffee machines in hotels take an espresso, but they're really plasticky and a bit, mm, well, I want something really good. So I just, I just got this. And so, yeah, I'm going to unbox it. And I got a load of things to go inside of it as well. Some like coffee capsule. So let's unbox it. Wow! It looks so cool. So this is it. This is the machine. Um, as you can see, it's a lovely champagne color. Well, that's the name of the color. Um, this is for frothing milk. We have a little tray here that you can pull out the smaller cups. And you put the thingies in there. And then there's also a thing here which you take out for used ones. Can you tell that I've read, that I've already looked at those reviews, so now it works. There's like a digital screen. English. Fill the water tank with cold portable water. Okay, I shall do that. Play's test strip. What's test strip? This is it. Come on. Got it. Oh. oh, wow. It's like a little. Here we go. Wait one minute. Observe indicated water hardness levels. Oh, look at that. There's a little thingy here. Oh my god. So mine would be the bottom one, wouldn't it? So, it's that one. First use, press start to prepare your machine for use. Okay, place emptying jug under the coffee outlet. Okay, hang on. Okay, little jug. Press start to begin cycle. Ooh, wow. <gasps> wow. Look, so you can pick kind of coffee what you want. So I think I'm gonna be right for coffee for a while. So I bought a bunch of capsules from Asda. I got Nespresso compatible. They are just cafe pod intense longo capsules. Matthew likes Taylor's coffee, so I got these ones. I got a Praline special Brazil one and cocoa. Nice packaging though. And then I got this one, which is just a regular coffee. And then I got some Asda one. I don't know why I bought so many, but this should sort us out for quite some time. And then I got some coconut milk and soya milk. I don't know, I really like coconut or soya in my coffees or latte, cappuccinos. I'm not really one for having like huge amounts of dairy in my day to day. You know, occasionally I might have a milkshake, but that's once in a blue moon. And I got this jar to put all the capsules in. I saw Megan do that. I just love Megan. Megan's the fucking coolest. Megan Ellerby, she just total goes gold. And then I got these. Just two, but that, that's just for being fancy. They're only a pound each, so I've got those. Most of the time, I'll probably just use a regular mug. Let's put it to the test. Tray out. Oh, look at that! Oh, so cool. Okay, coconut milk. I'm gonna do a coconut milk one. Right. Oh, God! I'm like, I'm like in Starbucks! Wow! 
I need to pour this in heat like I do in the coffee shops. Oh, there. Now, how do you do the art stuff? Oh, oh. <laughs> That is really, really nice. Ooh. Math's gone to London to go to a gig, which I totally forgot about, so I just had to take him to the train station. I've just been doing some stuff on my computer, this like, do you know what sounds really dumb? But even doing stuff like doing Instagram stories, promoting your videos, sending out tweets, scheduling tweets, all that jazz. It takes time, man. So I've just been sitting doing that. Anyway, I want to try, I want to use my machine again. I made the boys, Ben and Matthew, a coffee when they got in. I'm going to make myself one again. From the jar, I want to try a hazelnut one, which is the gold coloured capsule. I finally got some batteries for this guy, which is this light up pumpkin. It's from Lights for Fun, where I got my garden lights and some lights in my studio. They sent me this as a little present. It's well good. I might actually get a few more. So when it's closer to Halloween, I might do like a cool little window decoration thing or something. I'm watching The Simpsons. I haven't watched The Simpsons in ages. And I think this is all new stuff. So I just muted it whilst I record a video myself. I'm a bit peckish. So I think I'm gonna go and start creating some dinner. Now I'm thinking I really, really want some sweet potato wedges. And I have, woo, I have these. This stuff is so good. Uh, garlic and herb wedges, it's just some coating stuff that I've got. So I'm gonna make some sweet potato wedges and I might make some turkey burgers. So you just put the turkey, you just put the turkey in a bowl like this and you cover it in like spices and herbs. Got Nando salt, garlic, oregano and then you just sort of mix it all up. <laughs> it's gross. And then you just kind of make burger patties out of it. Woohoo! Done! I've been told from sources, uh, cat actually, the latest, not the latest, latest, but a new series of American Horror Story is on Netflix now. Now the last one I watched was Hotel. So the next one would be, mm, recently added, uh, that looks scary. Um, where, where is it? American Horror Story, where is it? Cat, are you lying to me? Cat, American Horror Story, here we go. Play season six, episode one. What one is it? More episodes. Renoke, okay. this is the one. My ringtone has been the American Horror Story theme tune since last Halloween. So it's good that it's gone full circle. Anyway, dinner time and the TV. American Horror Story went too shabby, if I'm honest. It was all right. Watched one and a half episodes, but I was only supposed to watch one. Ah! I was only supposed to watch one, but I got, I was watching. Kind of caught, caught up watching the other half. As you can see, oh, bath. You put it in bath mode. And we have a bath. Haven't had a bath well, since the weekend. I'm really bad at like switching off. Like, I'm always, always, always checking my social media. And I hate that. It's really annoying. I just can't stop. I wish I could. It's an obsession. Normally, I sit in the bath and I'm on Twitter and I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I just need to unwind. It's really hard to just switch off. I'm always having to look at something, like on my laptop. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna look at this on, I'm gonna go on this shop, or I'm gonna look at this thing, or I'm gonna check my YouTube, or I'm gonna check this or check that, or all the time. It's non-stop, it's constant, and it's really annoying. It's like, it's really annoying, it's a really annoying habit of mine, and I wish I, ca I, wish I could just so quite easily just turn it off or stop and just enjoy the real life, the real world. I find it really hard. Got my JBL speakers. Wonderful, I'm a bath dog. Is he gonna come join me? Na, na, na. Bloody slight issue right now. The camera was on the windowsill. It was fine, 
and it must have fallen off when I was in the bath. Don't know how it fell off. Probably some supernatural activity that's going on now because I've started watching American Horror Story and it always seems to haunt me every time I start watching it. I, oh, come on camera, stop. I always think someone's in the house when I am start watching it again. Like I check, I've just checked every room and every cupboard and I've gone around the house stealth style. Literally like, like a person, <laughs> like a spy, like going along the walls, checking around every corner, opening every, every door, every cupboard, like pshoom. No one's in here, put them up. The camera fell off the windowsill. I don't know how. I, I'll be honest, I don't really believe in ghosts or nothing. Maybe it just wasn't propped up right and it was sort of starting to slip, who knows, but it fell off and now my lens, which I normally use, isn't focusing properly. Barney, we what, what are you fucking doing? Gosh. Anyway, so I went and grabbed another lens which fits this camera and it works. Um, like the autofocus works. So I know it must be. Ugh, that noise. I know it must be the lens now. That's really annoying because this lens was like 300 quid. This lens focuses very quickly, but as you can tell, it's very close to my face. I just hop it out here. Outstretch my arm really far. My needy dog. Where's the other one? Oh, hey. Because Matthew's not here, I've got my dogs to protect me. They won't do any good, but they'll be able to tell if there's any unusual activity in the house. Dogs know this sort of stuff. But they'll be able to detect it. They won't be able to protect me any further, though. <laughs> no, I love my doggies. Oh. You're going to protect me, Lola? You're pretty savage sometimes, aren't you? Oh, you're pretty savage.